hi everyone welcome to java script daily channel today we are going to talk about one topic in react by the name of react use effect hooks last topic that we talked about was use state uh, in this video we are going to talk about what's use effect the use effect hooks allows you to perform side effect in your component and some example of side effects are fetching data directly directly updating the DOM and tires use effect accept to argument one of them is function and the next one is dependency let me clean all of them here use effect accept to arguments use effect accept to argument one of them is function and the next one is dependent dependence now uh, let's use a timer as an example we use state here Uh, we use set time out to count one second after initial render. First, we going to import use effect and use state from React. We have import use effect and use state from React. Now we are going to initialize the count and set send count value we have const count and set count equal to use state zero now we use use effect we use from arrow function here inside of that we have set time out inside of that we have set count equal to count equal to count plus one it means count plus one after 1000 skint now we are going to rent, uh, return something here one header here I have rendered count now let's check yes you can see let me write here one more again let me return you can see after 100 thousands it will change to one or let me yes let me clean one zero here again restart you can see one two three but with it keeps continue even though it should only count once use effect runs on every render that means that when the count change a render happens which then bigger which then trigger another effect this is not what we want. There are several ways to control when side effect run. We should always include the second parameter which accept an array. We can op uh, optionally pass dependencies to use effect in this array. We can use here like this. Let me clean all of them. we can use no dependency here 
no dependency dependency pass here we run runs on every render and we can run here if we put one array at that time we use an empty array an empty array we use runs only on the first render we can use props or state value also here inside of the array we use props and state we can say here and any time any dependency value changes so to fix this issue let's only run this effect on the initial render now we have to use an added effect on the initial render again we come to the first example yes here we use inside of this empty array clean this and here add empty bracket Now you can see like this. Let me inside RFA you can see that we use here. Now here is an example of use effect hooks that is dependent on the variable. If the count variable update, the effect will run again and again. Let's work another example. For knowing better what's uh, use effect again we have two variable one of them is counts count and the next one is set count again it equal to use state the next one we have count conclusion conclusion and set calculation again it use from use state now we use use effect inside of use effect we have set conclusion equal to count multiple two here we use the count right. we can say add the count variable here I don't know okay we use here from arrow function now it's time to return inside of this first we return a paragraph count equal to count The next one we have uh, put a button here uh, 
inside of button we put pan plus and the type of this button no type needed we use on click set count equal to c c plus one now again here we have one paragraph inside the paragraph we have calculation equal to calculation now it's time to run let's see let me i forgot maybe forgot something here everything should be run completely let's check where is the problem the conclusion is not defined maybe here we have Conclusion click okay, no problem we, we will check it. set conclusion okay we find the problem here is count let's uh, change it to const sorry about that now let's check yes it worked 2 minus 2 multiple 2 it uh, equal to 4 and 2 equal to 3 2 multiple 3 equal to 6 let's give some style for this Class BG dash read and round it dash Excel and we have a little padding dash one. Okay, now it worked completely. If there are multiple dependencies, they should be included in the use effect dependencies. Now we have effect cleanup. Some effects require cleanup to reduce many legs, timeout, subtraction, event listener, and other effects that are no longer needed should be dis uh, disposed. And we do this by including a written function at the end of use effect hooks. Okay, it was about use effect. I hope you enjoy it. And see you soon in the, uh, see you soon in the next video. Goodbye.